Christina Burke, and today I'm bringing you an investigative report on cervical cancer and Gardasil, the new vaccine that may protect against it. According to the World Health Organization, cervical cancer is the most commonly sexually transmitted disease. HPV is the virus that could lead to cervical cancer. HPV is a group of more than 100 um, viruses, that, and 40 of which are sexually transmitted between person to person, and um, persistent HPV infection has been associated with cervical and some vaginal cancers. The new vaccine against HPV, Gardasil, protects against HPV type 16 and 18, which are responsible for about 70% of all cervical cancers and most vaginal and vulvar infections. It also protects against HPV type 6 and 11, which cause about 90% of genital warts. Um, the HPV vaccine, Gardasil, is an inactivated vaccine. It's not a live vaccine. It's actually made up of um, HPV-like particles. It does not contain mercury, um, and it's given in a series of three shots at zero, two months, and six months. But while Gardasil may sound promising, many still question its safety. Gardasil has been associated with a little bit of fainting, a um, little bit more frequently perhaps than other vaccines. It's not clear why. Uh, my sister, I guess, had some kind of reaction to it, and she was taking it right before me, my little sister, and she, like, seizured, and then right afterwards I had to take it, but oh, she, wow. like, had a seizure, but then she, like, woke up. Well, not, it wasn't a seizure. They said she just fainted, but it looked like she was seizing. In the case of Gardasil, as of August of this year, there were... Um, 10,236 vaccine adverse event reactions. 94% of those were of the minor variety. Barbara Lowe Fisher, president of the National Vaccine Information Center, said, quote, Our concern is that this vaccine has not been studied long enough or in enough children to start mandating its use. There were 27 um, patients who died. However, despite the reported deaths, the FDA and CDC still consider the vaccine safe. The FDA has looked at this repeatedly and continues to look at it to, to establish any patterns, and they have not been, as of yet, despite the millions of doses, been able to establish a pattern that suggests that, you know, this vaccine causes X, Y, Z. Dr. Neil Halsey, a professor in the Department of International Health and Pediatrics at Johns Hopkins University, says, quote, this is a remarkably safe vaccine. There is no evidence of any increased risk of adverse events. So what do Cal students think about the vaccine? Um, well, initially, like, I was supposed to get it before, and my mom was kind of, like, up in the air about me getting it because it was so new. Um, but, I don't know, now she's kind of okay with it because it's been, like, recommended a lot by a lot of doctors. It's definitely worth it, even though it's three shots and painful and everything, just to know that you're protected and uh, it's, like, one of the most common viruses. Anything to prevent cervical cancer, genital warps, um, I definitely think is positive and we should definitely invest in it. This new vaccine is widely given and has the potential to make cervical cancer almost obsolete in the United States. Shots cost about $120 per treatment. Reporting for CalTV, I'm Christina Burke.